Hello, YouTube. How's everybody? This is Bob coming to you from sunny Southern California. We are having a summer-like weather. And uh, it is uh, May 8th, and this country is still in the grips of the coronavirus. And according to news report, a lot of the hospitals still have a lack of uh, personal protective equipment for the health workers. I am myself a healthcare worker. My brother is a, a, an emergency room physician in Dallas. So we do have to get real close and, to, and personal with patients, sometimes with uh, suspected coronavirus infection. Uh, for my brother, he has to intubate people very commonly, very often, and uh, he has to have uh, good protection for that. Here's a very common piece of uh, protective equipment, just a face shield. I got this uh, months and a half ago from Harbor Freight Tool before they ran out. You can use this. And now I have a way to make this into a more effective protective equipment. So when you uh, need to intubate somebody, you can put them on and protect yourself. And the material you need, just some uh, clear trash bag. This is a 33 gallon trash bag. Clear. I got it from uh, from uh, Smart and Final. You need some uh, scotch tape. And you need this. So I have taken out one plastic bag and lay it flat on the table. It's 33 gallon. Now I'll just make a cut right here. Cut out the shape of the face shield. So I have cut out a hole the size of the face shield. Now I'm going to put it, put the face shield inside this bag and then uh, tape the hole around it to the face shield with uh, scotch tape. Here it is. All the edges were sealed up with uh, scotch tape. Here it is. It is done. Now to put it on, you just put it over your head and place the bag over your shoulder. Now, of course, there's a limited amount of air in there, but for intubation, short procedures, it's plenty. Also, there's some air that can get through from the bottom. And if you're really concerned about it, you can cut some round holes in here in the back to ventilate. At least uh, you're not getting the air from the patient's nose and mouth. So this will protect your entire head, neck, and shoulder. Now, if you're worried about your torso, you can always wear a plastic rain poncho. You can buy those uh, pretty cheap. So that will cover pretty much your entire body. For short, for short procedures, this will work very well, I believe. Here it is. It's done. I have clear view. And there's plenty of air in here for at least many minutes for short procedures. So this will cover your shoulder. Still leave your hands free for doing things. Thank you for watching.